We'll put this back. How does this go on? I forgot. Ho, ho, ho! Is it that time of year again? We're gonna do some Christmas sets. Sorry, I tried to get the Lego Elf Shop and the Lego Wreath. It was all completely sold out. Dang, Lego. So what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. Today, we're gonna look at some smaller sets and we're gonna power through these pretty quickly so I can go and work on the other videos for you guys faster, all right? Yeah, I wanna be with you more. I wanna put out more videos for you. So thank you for hanging in there. Thank you for liking, commenting. Don't forget to subscribe to Break Me Up, Scotty. I was gonna attempt a Mariah and Ariana whistle harmonizing thing, but yeah, you don't wanna hear that from me. So this is more from an unknown or new brand called Cheng Jiao. I have no comment about the brand name. And this is the Christmas, well, they call it Christmas shoes, plural. There's only one shoe. Number 1225. 181 pieces. So I actually wanted to support these guys and put this on the store. BrickMeUpScotty.com. All these sets are available and they're all new for this Christmas, which is already coming up. Some of you have bought these sets, so thank you so much for your support. But this one here was actually made from one of our friends or suppliers that we buy some of your sets that you have bought from us and they wanted to make their own set and this is what they made. This is the box that it comes in with. Cute little box, nothing crazy about it. You know, you want to see like the Chinese technical information there. Hazard to your kids. I'm just kidding. Just, you know, just letting you know it's safe, man. And the story of Christmas there, all in Chinese for you. So it's nothing too crazy. It's a cute little tiny shoe. Guess what? It's dear. It's dear as a shoe. Build was perfectly fine. You can actually take these out here. It's very small, very easy to put together. There's a little bit of color differences there on a couple of parts, but nothing like crazy. Unless that bothers you guys. It looks kind of spooky like that. The evil deer. But once you get to the eyes here, yeah, it was a little, a little bit cuter there. Hey, it's a real simple thing, man. It's nice for a little gift. That little flat part here does kind of move a little bit there. That was cute. It has a little tiny candy cane that comes with it. You stick it inside there. It does come with a Santa figure. Probably want to use your own. I like his outfit though. He's wearing like a tracksuit thing going on. That's what he looks like without his beard. You can stand him up here and there on the side be like, yo, he won't fit this way. His arms might hang out there, but he can kind of like latch onto the shoe there. Put the candy cane here. And it has a little standard Christmas tree that you're familiar with that kind of mounts anywhere on the back here like that. You, know, you can decorate it however you want. And you got three little presents here. You know, they're all different colors, different sizes. So that's a nice little stocking stuffer. But there you go. That's the Christmas shoe. All right, let's look at the next set. So what you're looking at here is Semble Blocks Christmas Tree Music Box. 601097. 486 pieces. You know, for being so small, and I've seen a lot of like websites promoting this thing you think it'd be really easy to put together. Actually, it's not that bad, but if you're like kind of new or you just think this looks really pretty, it's a little bit tricky just because they're using trans clear green. Awesome, I think that was a great idea, but clutch is a little bit tight and there's a section here in the tree. That's kind of crazy. You have to like hook it from the bottom and then the top kind of slides on and hooks in. Pushing too hard, things might push in and you know, maybe later I'll show you what I'm talking about, but yeah, that part was a little bit frustrating. Everything else is really simple to put on. Boy, there's a lot of stuff on this tree. Now the key features for this tree really makes it work. One, it has the music box. I don't know what's happening right now, but there's loads of music box sets that are coming out. You guys interested to see more of those? You know, I'll start putting them on the store. But I'm like, why, why is music boxes suddenly becoming so popular? Well, that's one thing that helps this set. So it has a light brick that uses three batteries. If you do order from us, we have to take the batteries out. I have to mention that every time. These use something called LR44 batteries. Postal restrictions, man. Super strict, I gotta take them out. But I know a lot of people have been mess messaging me and letting me know like, hey, I bought the set, has no brick with it. It doesn't even have the electrical parts inside of it. You didn't order it from us, did ya? You know, I send it with the brick, I'll just take out the battery and we let you know anyway. So, you know, you just gotta go out and buy the batteries. So if you wanna be ahead, most of the symbol block sets uses LR44 batteries. Some of them use LR41. Some of them use AG3. 
So I'm getting really good at memorizing what batteries are being used in these sets. So how does this work? Very simple. First, just turn on the lights. Wow, look at that. You know, maybe I'll turn off the lights in a bit. But to make the music box work, which has no battery, I hope it has no batteries inside. We've been sending this out with no problem. It's just one of those wind up things, you know, keep winding it up. You gotta go for a little while if you want this thing to keep running, because it's pretty fast when it runs out. I'll keep cranking as much as I can. It's getting tight there. And then you let go and go. And happy. That was the end of the song. Again, we wish you My tip for this right away is build a tree off the thing. Don't build it on the, the stand or the space thing, you know? It's gonna be much easier for you to deal with. And the stickers, you have to be really careful with symbol block stickers, man. They're decals, right? Tattoo stickers, they suck. You know, once you line them up, you're gonna screw up and you might tear things off. This one, I think they actually have an extra strand, like half a strand that goes, they know you're gonna screw something up, so they included that. But it does say Merry Christmas on all four sides there. Oh, why'd you move a tree? Don't move, I said don't move. On the base of the tree, there's a lot of little things there. You got some presents. And I kind of like how they decorated the battery pack to look like a present that does use a sticker. You got the choo-choo train. I like the stickers, but yeah, you, you gotta be careful with putting them on. My one might differ from yours. I think I've been shifting everything around. Kids have been playing with this thing. And then you got the stocking that dangles off one of the branches there. Very Christmassy indeed. And then we come to the tree part. Now, I think the little bit overkill with the amount of like, it's almost too much variety on this. They could have just used a couple items. Let's work our way from the bottom to the top, right? So on the first row of branches, they do kind of repeat like every other branch is the same kind of piece. Like some have apples, some have a blue crystal clear diamond. Don't ask me why. And they all have branches with yellow stars on it. Those are big ones. And then you go to the next level branches, getting a little bit smaller. We got an owl on one side. You got birds, different colored birds on the other side. And a teddy bear on that side. So okay, that, that's more varied. Next to the bird, you got some eggs. Why are they using eggs on the tree? This makes the whole thing kind of look kind of crazy. And you got more little balls, ornaments, right? Pink bows, popcorn pieces. You know, same deal. They're kind of just like repeating every other branch. Then you come to the last row of branches here and have apples. Why? Why are you using apples? Now these little tiny hearts that sit on the inside, those might actually pop off on you. I think a couple popped off on me. Then we come to the very top here. If you can get this whole thing down together, it looks very nice. You got the little snowflake on top, the toilet seat rings there, and you got this beautiful tree. You can actually, look, I was just mentioning, you can take the whole thing off like that. I'm gonna take the brick off with me. There we go. That's the stand for you. It probably freaks some of the post office guys around here. Oh, there's screws underneath there. You want me to open that? Okay, I'll open that later. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. I'm curious myself. Okay, let's turn off the lights real fast. All right, lights are off. I can't shut off the sun outside, but there. Look at that. All I want for Christmas is you. Okay, I'll do a little spin for you guys. I don't even have to talk that much, do I? Here. So I remember last year I did the Christmas tree from Lego. I don't know if I reviewed it or not, but this kind of just takes it to another level when you have that kind of features, but it's kind of crazy and wild. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this tree? It's, it's just pretty to kind of hang on a wall and pull it out when you want to. Again, it'll be on the store. Might be taken off pretty soon because Christmas will be over, but you know, you can always save it for next season, next year. Yeah. All right, you ready to see the last set? Here we go. So what you're seeing here is from another new brand called VG Viggy. Getting Viggy with it. Na 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 na. Getting Viggy with it. They call it the room. 
kind of scary. I just call it the Christmas room. 506001 451 pieces. I'm always excited when a new brand comes up and they show a new thing and they actually release a product. I'm like, oh, cool. You know, I'm a huge fan of these diorama type rooms. You've seen all my other interior home furnishing stuff. I personally love them, even if they're not the greatest. They're just fun to have around. You can use them to like throw into your modular buildings or just kind of decorate them around your desk. And this one, I was actually really quite surprised and, and happy building this one. I'm like, oh, this is great. I just really wish Lego would start doing more these type of things, man. I'd buy them all. Anyway, so Biggie, this is their box. We do have this in stock. The room. This also has a little lighting kit, which was done in a very nice, subtle way. Again, a reminder, no batteries, but I'll send you the brick. Just look at this lovely little cozy room. It was a lot of fun to put together, very small. You know, it's got a lot of little stuff in here. So right away, like the other rooms, you got this little open area here so you can get your hands in there very nice. I do a little rotation here and to show you the back side of the wall. Very bricky looking. And you have a little small window on this side, which is nice. They actually have some mounts right here. I'm not sure what this is gonna mount into. And more here on the side. You know, maybe they're gonna close it off later. I don't know. Now in the set, there's a lot of pieces that will fall over everywhere, so you have to be careful moving it around. But there's a couple things that are stuck in here. Makes me want to just go in there, sit down and have a turkey on the table. Let's start on this back side of the wall first. I like the fireplace. They did put some flames down there. Now there's a couple items on there. Most of everything, yeah, pretty much everything in here are stickers. Symbol stickers. So yeah, the decals, you gotta be careful when you're peeling that off or you'll, you'll rip the thing. But on the top here, I'll take it out. You have a tiny biblioteca. Nice little Bible there. We'll open this up. That's a sticker though. But that's really cool, like a nice little addition. Merry Christmas. This ain't no Bible. This was a joke. But hey, you got a nice little book that goes on this little fireplace. On the other side, you have a little tiny sticker of a letter. It says princess on it. You must have taken that from another set. I am a fan of that clock. Have I seen it done in this style before? I can't remember, but I like the bottom piece that is slot up in there, and that is a sticker on the clock face. Next to the clock, you got this little plant. It's a little bit loose the way that it's mounted on there. It's like one of those Technic pieces. You know, well, at least it's kind of balanced out. It's not gonna like go crazy everywhere. Next to the fireplace, you got some loose slope pieces there. Those will fall out. Uh, I was putting it together going, oh, are they trying to make it like a stack of wood right there? Nice touch. Little things like that to help make this room a little bit more cozy looking. Just in general, the whole fireplace with the clock there, I thought that was really good. But one thing that I didn't really like was the frame on the back there that says Merry Christmas sticker. I don't know why they had to put that there. It could have been, well, I guess maybe it's a sticker itself. I don't know. I'm looking at that going, hmm, maybe that could have been changed. Then we come to this corner here. You've got this lovely Christmas tree. That's really nice. That's probably the most fragile thing is the tree when you put it together. It's again, it's kind of like this, this one where it's, it's hooked in. A lot easier than that one for sure. And I like how they put this, this stocking on the bottom there. Now, if you take it out, it's actually easier to do it this way, okay? If you jiggle it and just kind of pull up and take the base of it out. Oh, come on out. Oh, don't want to come out. There we go. Underneath there, that's where the lighting is. Little stars, stickers there on the brick. And it's kind of funny that they put the light face upside down, so it kind of splashes the light out. There, you can see how bright that is. It's so bright, it's blinding my eyes. So you gotta remember the stocking faces towards the fireplace, the only way I can remember it. So you put this tree back here. There, so you got this light that comes from the bottom up and it kind of shoots up like that. It makes the whole room kind of nice looking. It goes, whoa, you know, we'll do the thing again when we turn off the light. So we come to this back wall here. Now I'm gonna move Santa off this gigantic chair. You can actually kind of see they put some effort into the, the curtain part. Not too difficult to put together. But I was like, oh, I kind of enjoyed it. And I like how they have the, the curtain part kind of folded back and it's being held together. It's, it's just an illusion, but you know, it was, it was a nice touch to be able to have that look like it's closed off and it looks thick. It looks kind of like a watermelon. 
Usually with these kind of sets, they cheapen out on the curtains. They just put like one piece or they put a big giant sticker on it. No stickers on the curtain. And even the top part, that's a little bit crazy. And if I have to complain, like the plant parts, yeah, it's hard to push these pieces in. This is how much stays intact. Nothing else is going to fall off. It is also tiled, so nice job. It's very simple. Uh, you might see like a little couple not like perfectly fitted together. I think they're all kind of like that, right? Or is that me? Do you, do you need it to be perfect? Let's look at the accessories. Giant chair. I don't think I've seen a chair that looks quite like this or made like this. You know what makes it kind of good for me? Is it's Well, it's brick built, which is good, but it has a very different look than anything I've seen. And it's very fantasy looking, you know? It's like something that goes in a Lord of the Rings set or something. So I, I like the chair. Then you got the table of goodies here. So a turkey on this very small plate. It just kind of sits there. It's kind of funny looking like that. You got some cups that come with this. You got a lot of utensils. So they do have a pack of utensils that come with it. You got the forks, knives, and even more extra little things here and there for your kitchen. Looks like Santa is having some pizza sticker on there. And there's a drink here. That's a polka dot. I don't know why they chose that pattern. That is a sticker. But I like the candles. Kettle's a nice touch. Very warm and very cozy. You know, I thought I was building a tree or something at first. I'm like, oh, that's kind of an interesting way to do a bottom of a table. Just kind of put this here, slot this one back on top, like that. Then you got the presents. This one is all brick built, good. This one does have a sticker on it. Yeah, you know, at least it looks like a present, I guess. That Santa's little sack there. And of course you do have a Santa. He looks good, he looks much better than the other one. The other one looks more like modern style. The printing on his body, his eyes look really good. It's symbol block, so for sure, like the printing is gonna be pretty high class for these guys. And he's holding a little present right there in his hand. That's nice. And they can always have Santa kind of hanging off right there, like, yo, I'm gonna drop off the present to you. Here's my sack as well. So let's do the same thing. Let me shut off the lights real quick and see what it all looks like in the dark. It's harder to see like this because I still have light coming in. But when you see it in person, it's a much warmer light. There's Santa sitting down there. I think it's really great. Like, probably my favorite little diorama room. I just wish there was more of these. Oh yeah, and I should mention, it also comes with this little postcard. So with a postcard, it's kind of cute. They tell you, Please come visit our website with the QR code. I haven't actually opened that yet. I don't even know if I can. But if you can, there you go. And scan it. QR code that sucker. Let me know where it leads to. So, got three choices. VG, Shembo, Chingyao, whatever the name of this one is. You know, if you want to support original sets, original designers. Want to do, want to buy a little Christmas room diorama for yourself. Or take off the seasonal looking things and make this a regular room. There you go. A little Christmas tree for you. For Valentine's Day or for next year. It's there. All these are available on BreakMeUpScotty.com. Fun little sets. I'm going to bring these home now so I can decorate my house with a Christmas theme. And, you know, it's Christmas, right? Anything new in store? I share these on my Instagram so you guys can see. Some of you ordered these, so hopefully you get yours in time for Christmas. Probably not, right? So I should be flipping this around this way. So this is new from Symbol Block as well. These are Hong Kong apartments. Woohoo! They're a little bit smaller looking. They're kind of skinny. They don't have a full back or anything like that, but you can see it there. This back is the same as that side. Also comes with light brick. Why are they putting lights in these things? I gotta take out the batteries for you guys. I'm sorry. There's nothing else I can do about that. But there you go. These are also available on the store right now. Anything else? Top it off with, you know, I was actually excited when I got this in. Then I found out that, yeah, I think this is a stolen design. -hoo 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 -hoo. This is Painter, Painter Junior, 3001. Why the hide like that? I wonder why, because they must know. Yeah. You know, I got this for myself going, wow, I can't wait to build it. So this is right here. It's the starry, starry, starry night. So sorry guys, you won't see me talking about that with you. I know, a good little teaser though, right? All right, you guys, it's Dimension Times. We'll do this in order. What I filmed, we'll start with the shoe, which mounts onto this plate. It's like now stuck like air, there we go. All right, so we're just gonna put this randomly somewhere. Place it right there. 
It is roughly around six studs by 11. Here's my one by four bricks. Break yours out. Put around seven on there, I guess. We won't include Santa on the tree. That's the height of the shoe right there. There you go. Might be able to fit your newborn baby's feet. Next, now onto the tree. The good thing is underneath, yeah, you can totally mount this to the plate too. Let's see if I can do it. Like that. Yeah. So, you know, if you wanna give it a little bit more decoration or you wanna keep it on the base plate, maybe you can make this into like a, an ice skating ring. Raise it up a little bit. And this could be the centerpiece. What am I talking about? I don't know. Let's just measure this thing. So it's equal on all four sides from the plate. That is 14 by 14 studs. Oh, we'll probably protrude out like maybe two or three more if you want to make sure you have the room for the trees there. So just so you know, there you go. Let's check the height. Here are my stacks of one by four bricks. We'll stack it up here. And it's actually pretty close to there. Yeah, it's pretty close. 29 bricks in height. All right, let's do the very last room. Now for the Christmas room, We'll just lay it somewhere around here. It's nice to see cold on all four sides. That is 16 by 16. Not bad, yeah? I'm just thinking about if I put this into an interior, it would probably go in the Mold King Christmas house, which will be the next review very soon. Let's check the heights. Okay, here's my one by four bricks. I'm gonna stack it here. Oh, it's ever so slightly over. It's like kind of roughly around 14 bricks in height. Maybe just a little bit less by like, cut that brick in half, there you go. That's just your dimensions. You wanna see a quick teardown? Let's tear down this music box, right? That's just too small, that screwdriver. Speaking of teardowns, I had to actually take apart the Mold King Christmas house and the train station. I don't know why they did that. They come with, each one comes with a music box, okay? The music box, has a lithium battery inside. Did I say that right? We can't send those, man. No one can send those. I don't know why they decided to release that like that. They could have just used AA batteries for those music boxes and they just play the same song as this one. Just use your phone, man. So I know a lot of people are ordering from other places and they're saying, oh, they didn't give me the brick. Or even the light stuff for Symbol. I get a lot of people telling me, oh, I bought the Symbol. They didn't give me the brick. Did you buy it from us? No, I think suppliers are just taking them out because it's such a hassle with postal restrictions now. So I kind of get that screw out. I don't think I stripped it. Just be aware when you're buying these sets, if they have electronics in them, other sellers or other places may not want to include it. We try to encourage not to have it sent out as well or just take out the battery or even cut it out. It's not that important. You just want the brick, right? My fingers are getting tired. It's the wrong screwdriver to use, Scotty. Yep, it's just a music box, you guys. No batteries in this set. Ticking time bomb. There you go. What a mess I have made. The good thing about the music box is it has studs on it. You can literally put any set on this. I just made the set like a hundred times better. Look at that. That's way better now. All right, kingdom come. Time to drop all these things. Oh, this one should be fine. It's a shoe. What's it gonna do? Nothing, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, the shoe's intact. Everything else flew off that was supposed to fly off. Now I gotta go pick them up. This is the one I'm dreading. I can for sure tell you branches will probably fall off. They're already a little bit loose. I don't know how the music box is gonna survive. Hopefully it saves the tree, all right? I got to rebuild this thing, man. I'll just take it home and do it again. Okay, here we go. Five, four, here, let's just let's, let's, let's add a little bit more of a dramatic effect here. Three, 
two, one. Okay, you can stop. 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 You're not too bad. The train survived. First of all, this LED light, it's, it's the first of its kind that I've seen like this. It's pretty good. We are talking to Symbol right now to hopefully be able to sell their lights individually. We do sell some of the panelless ones. If you look on the store, those are actually pretty cool too. They're, you don't have to plug them in and you still have to push your thumb to turn them on but they're kind of out of the way. And they stick to studs upside down very nice, like a ceiling light. Check those out if you want. But this one, it's kind of cool. I like that. All right. I was talking about how tricky the tree is to build, and that is because of this right here. It's like that, right? So if you push it in, yeah, it goes too far in. You can't pull it out now. There's no way to get this thing out. Building this, putting it on here is tricky. Do I have an advice for it? No, because this part you gotta like take off here. That. So this should have been fine-tuned or easier to put in. Right now, you can't fix it by just slotting it in. So you're gonna to have to take off the middle part of this tree, slot this in here, lift that part up a little bit and slot it there. You know what I mean? It's kind of a painful process if you screw up like I just did. I had to take the whole thing off now to do it. Okay, I'm not gonna talk anymore about this one. I'm just gonna bring this one home. This one would go with me. Here we go, you guys. Five, four, three, Two, one. I'm only putting my hands out because I don't want anything to fly behind me or else I'll find it on the floor. So every item that was movable has fallen off except for the fireplace part that did come off. Otherwise, yeah, the room itself is fine. You know what, I really like this room. I like it, I like it a lot. All right, you guys, so ho, 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 have a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. You know, in case I just forget to tell you later. All right, so until next time, pick me ho. Gonna stop yet? Stop. Can you finish yet? Almost. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll straighten it up a little bit. There we go. All right. I was trying to straighten you, man. Gonna have to rotate you again. Do it by hand.